Kuntanetex 211. Educating the youths through films. If they are interested to come to Delhi Technological University, what would you tell them? Okay, I can finally say as my parting voice that uh, the program here in India is a good program. Um, studies in India are honestly tough. And so when you have a plan to come to India, Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Down It Woman YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm offering a different uh, style of uh, video. I'm going to be asking our students from Africa who are living for Africa. Uh, bro, your name and your country and what do you study? So, um, I'm Anthony Nimlechi Junior. I'm from Liberia and I studied environmental engineering here at Delhi Technological University. All right, uh, thank you, Anthony. Uh, today, uh, I'm so happy to uh, bid you a farewell to uh, your country. Uh, I would like to know what, uh, what challenges did you face uh, during the course of your two-year study in, new, uh, in Delhi? So, um, basically, there were a lot of challenges, but uh, just to highlight a few of them was, uh, like in our previous interview, we held a uh, about a year ago, yeah. I pointed out that those challenges include, uh, but not limited to, the laboratory technicians and mechanics. You know, a lot of laboratory technicians here at uh, Delhi Technological University are unable to speak fluent English. And as a result of that, if you go to the laboratory, you are unable to have the, con the basic concept of what you have understood theoretically to be explained practically by the laboratory demonstrator. So um, that has been one of the major challenges. More so from the inception of our program, um, a couple of the professors could not speak English. So um, as time went on, we integrated and we were able to you know, file in uh, one or two complaints to our head of departments and course coordinators, and they were able to sort those out. So in the last uh, two semesters, things were fine. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Anthony. What benefit or what, uh, what important thing have you learned from uh, Delhi Technological University? <laughs> wow, okay, um, there are a lot of good things. There are a lot of good things. If I'll actually tell you that I'm going to enumerate them, we won't leave from here. Okay. But just to highlight a few of them, you know, um, I'm grateful to the Indian Council of, of, for Cultural Relations, ICCR. ICCR. I'm grateful to them. I'm also grateful to the Ministry of Education of the Republic of Liberia for affording me this opportunity. And I tell you, in big dreams, my country is going to benefit. Benefit such that I, I'm an environmental engineer. I came from uh, a civil background, so I'm going with that thought, that excess baggage of knowledge in hydrological engineering. Beyond that, um, the research ability I have gathered from here is enormous. More so, um, that concept, you know, I came from the coastal engineering background. Okay. And so I have learned a lot of techniques, a lot of softwares, and the application of those softwares and techniques in the practical engineering as per um, the current situation of global warming and climate change will want to put me at the top of some of my colleagues. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Anthony. Uh, do you have anything to tell uh, African guys who are uh, watching right now? Uh, in case you have any important thing to tell them about uh, uh, the situation in India, uh, if they are interested to come to Delhi Technological University, what would you tell them? Okay, I can finally say as my parting voice that uh, the program here in India is a good program. Um, studies in India are honestly tough. And so when you have a plan to come to India, or if you have a plan to come to India, you should prepare yourself psychologically. Do not think that uh, India is the US or the UK, okay. because uh, this is a semi-arid region. The temperature here is a scream. Even uh, if you are coming to Delhi, because Delhi is a landlocked city, yeah. temperatures 
doing the uh, pre monsoon or doing summons are high temperatures during winters are extremely low so the place gets colder yeah. during winter and extremely hot during summer so even if it comes to um, academics you have to be punctual do not be uh, carried away by those disadvantages in the first one or two two weeks of your course of studies do not be carried away by that be focused be resilient and you can overcome thank you sir anthony uh, it was nice talking to you uh, thank you so much it's my pleasure all right welcome and can you tell us your name uh, your country and what you studied in delhi technological university okay my name is dominic i did my masters in vlsi and embedded systems from dtu all right uh, uh, as we as we have known uh, you are leaving for africa uh, in the next few days to come what challenges did you face when you were studying the, there were so many challenges in this place first the cultural challenge uh, we had to we had to take time to understand the culture of the indians okay. and also that i come from africa so that in, interlink of our cultures was so difficult because indians are the north indians are a bit conservative than us africans all right uh, thank you so much uh, what uh, a vital thing have you learned from Delhi Technological University as you were uh, studying here. Delhi DTU has taught me to be innovative. Okay. To be creative and I can be able to work on my own. Okay. Yeah. If if there is somebody from Africa who's watching right now uh, who wants to come to Delhi Technological University, what would you tell him or her? If you want to come to DTU, DTU offers a real training for the real world and it has the best professors in this in India. And it is among the top universities in India. All right. Uh, what will you miss when you like when you are away from Delhi Technological University or India? What will you miss about India? No, first I will miss the African brothers' family. Okay. I'll miss my my Indian friends. Okay. Who to some who I never had time to meet due to the COVID pandemic. All right, all right. And generally the D2 environment. All I'm right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Dominic, for talking to me. I appreciate your comment. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Welcome to the studio. Uh, what is your name and what you studied and which country are you from? Uh, thank you. My name is Isaac Akleng uh, from Uganda. Okay. And I was doing a master's in software engineering. All right, uh, Mr. Isaac, uh, I want to know as you are preparing to go back to your country, Uganda, in the, few, in the next few days, uh, what challenges have you faced in Delhi Technological University as you were studying for the course of three years? Uh, in Delhi Technological University, there are quite a number of challenges. Uh, as, as, as much as you know, being in a foreign country is not easy. Uh, in class, there is an issue of uh, the Indian English, which you can't understand easily. You have to adapt to. And back in hostel, there are so many things, like the kind of food that is there. You know, if you don't eat, you can't study. All right, so uh, it's so hard. All right, uh, thank you so much. Uh, what important thing or what important lesson did, did you give you or what what will you remember did you for well did you expose me to so many things one some some things you can do them the right way others you have to use force all right all right uh, thank you so much mr isaac uh if you have a chance to tell one of the african guys or african guys who are listening here right now or who are watching uh, what will it be like what do you want to tell african guys who are watching right now uh, regarding they stay in in India and DTU particularly. Well, if you're coming to DTU, you should be ready to face whatever is there, and you should be ready to fight for your right. That is all I can tell you. Thank you so much, Mr. Isaac, for talking to me. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, those were African guys who are living for Africa. Uh, if you do not subscribe yet, please do it right now. Like the video, comment, and let me know where you are watching from.